Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, Zone 6. You know, it's springtime here and the birds are really singing. Well, anyhow, today I wanted to share some tips and ideas on how you can plant cauliflower out in your vegetable garden. So thanks for joining me today. So I have here a market pack of six transplants or seedlings. I ended up getting these from Ray's Nursery nearby. And you know, tra transplants or seedlings can give you a nice jump on the season. You can also start these indoors, you know, by seed. But you know, I ended up get, buying these from Ray's for a dollar sixty for this market pack. And you know, behind these labels, there's always some helpful information here. So let's take a second here and read these. Here it says, create gourmet meals with tender and delicious pure white heads. And this variety matures in 40 days. And you want to plant this in an organic, rich, well-drained soil, water freely in dry weather. And I ended up, uh, I'll end up growing these in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. And I go through the soil working my garden fork in there. You want to make sure that soil's nice and loose, you know, 10, 12 inches deep. You know, that way the roots can spread far and wide and, you know, the more they can spread, the more nutrients they'll take up, resulting in a healthier, stronger, and larger plant. And so, you know, I, I plant these in my raised beds here, so that way, you know, we just had a couple heavy rains uh, the other day, and so, you know, the, the beds were not waterlogged. And also, when you plant these, you want to make sure, you know, they get a good eight hours of sunlight. So why don't we start planting these in the soil? So what I'm going to do here is come in, come in 12 inches from each side, because this is a four foot wide bed. And I'm just going to eyeball this about 12 inches. And I have a, a story pole here, a stick I ripped down from a two by four. And every, I have a, mar a red mark every 18 inches and also every 24 inches. So it really helps, helps it uh, become easier to, locate where these plants are where you're going to plant them and so I'm just going to screed this back and forth so it leaves a line in the soil and then just come over about 24 inches and do that again and then I'm going to lay this right along the the edge here that just left so then I can start where I'm going to plant these so I'm going to come in 12 inches from this one side. You know, these heads are gonna get pretty large and the leaves are gonna get large too. So I'm gonna be planting these probably uh, 18 inches apart, maybe even a little bit more. And so you just gently wanna take out your seedling or transplant. And I'm just gonna use my hand because the soil's so nice and loose. You could also use a garden trowel and then just, I take, you can take your fingers like this and firm, firm them in around each plant here. And whenever you buy seedlings from a market pack, you wanna check the root system, make sure it's not root bound, you know? These, you can see, aren't, aren't, aren't root bound and so they're, they'll be just right. And so again, this is something really easy to do. You always want to make sure you don't plant your plants too close together because you want to have good air circulation around them. And also, I'm going to be covering this bed here with a low tunnel hoop house. I'm going to use uh, <coughs> my <coughs> PVC tubing here for this. It's an easy uh, way to set up a low tunnel hoop house. I'm going to use 
two foot pieces of half inch rebar in the corners and one in the middle. And then, you know, this spun bonded cover with a row cover, a spun bonded polyester. That's going to keep the cabbage butterfly off these plants. Uh, you know, they lay eggs under your leaves and, you know, the looper worm is what devastates and, and brings great harm to these plants that are in the brassica family. I cover my broccoli, my cauliflower here, my kale, collard greens. I plant them under the row covers. You know, it's better to take a little time in the front, up front in the beginning, spend a little bit of money in prevention, you know, rather than have, having to use pesticides later on down the road to control these pests. And so uh, I have a couple more I need to plant here. So I have the three more on the side to plant, but here's what I did. When I planted these other three plants, I planted them too close. I planted them 18 inches apart. I was looking at them and thinking, now they need to be spaced 24 inches. Like I said earlier, they get pretty big. And so, you know, at this stage of the game, it's easy to just pop them out and move them over. And so I feel much better having these spaced two feet apart and then the rows will be two feet. And so I'm simply just gonna eyeball right across where this other plant was and put these in the ground here. Firm them in nice. You don't want to firm the soil too much because you you don't want to, uh, or too compact, you want water to, of course, to be able to permeate through the soil. And then you can just take your label there and just stick it in the ground there. And so let me grab my watering can and water these in. And so you want to water them in really good so the root system can get nice and, you know, get all the air pockets out. I really enjoyed this new watering can that I got last year from Ace Hardware. It's been a nice user-friendly watering can. I think I paid around $20 for this. I also added some alfalfa pellets to my raised bed here. As I add that to all my raised beds, I also add some uh, soy meal to my raised beds, but you want to work it in the soil. It adds some, some good uh, nutrients to the soil and adds some good organic matter to the soil. And also, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be covering this, these uh, cauliflower plants with a low tunnel hoop house. I'm also going to be planting some lettuce transplants here right on the end because I have about two, more, two feet more of space here. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's really nice to see some sunshine. We've had a couple days of rain here and you know, the ground's soaking wet right now, but thankfully with these raised beds, you know, the uh, beds and the soil are, are pretty dry. So anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com to learn more about gardening and also how to reclaim your health. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.